Hey, what's going on everybody? So we got a new week for the vlog and I hope you guys have been enjoying these. Uh, the last one was crazy. So many mochas, so much content. It was like 30 minutes long. If you guys watched all the way through it, that's awesome. You guys let me know. Do you like the long videos? I don't know. But anyways, we do have a couple of things that are going out. So over the weekend, it was pretty good doing sales. Uh, so first off, I'll say I sold these. Uh, I bought them for 120. I sold them for 120. I mostly just bought them because I thought it'd be fun. I wanted to see what it would look like, and I um, I made a video about it. So go ahead and check it out. But these are a size 10. They were just slightly too small for me, so that's why I'm selling them. And then I am shipping off a pair of these band ones, a size nine. These were the ones that were like super clean, and uh, some guy traded me for a pair of brand new bread fours and a brand new pair of bread 11s so two pair of breads for a pair of breads so i legit checked them they look good so that's cool uh, and then we also have a couple more shoes going out so someone bought two shoes for me they bought a pair of these white cement threes uh sold them for a hundred bucks they do have a lot of paint shipping but sold these for a hundred bucks plus shipping and then also they bought the pair of Columbia or Legend Blue 4s in a size 10 and a half. These ones are definitely a lot cleaner, but they bought both of them for 250 plus shipping. And then we also sold the Mamba Curios that we got in the second episode. So we got these for about 100, sold them for about 170 shipped on eBay. Another pair of Air Maxes that went out. So these I'm getting about I put them for 115 and uh, let's see, I bought them for about 60. So it's about like 20, 30, $40 profit. I don't know. Uh, and then lastly, we also have this going out. It's a pair of the Nike SB Dunk Highs in the Born in USA colorway. These ones sold for about 225 shipped and I sold them for the low because they have a lot of yellowing. They're super faded in color and there's also like a little hole in the heel, but I've had these for a while. I got them in a one of my mystery boxes um but that's it for shoes but i did sell a few essential stuff i sold two gray hoodies and i think i also sold a pair of shorts so i gotta double check but uh yeah we got a lot of deals coming this week a lot of different things moving so let's go ahead and just jump to whatever's next hey what's going on man What's up everybody so you did see me just do a deal size five and a half right here a pair of mocha ones so the guy i did do a deal with him it was the one where it was all raining and stuff in the last episode but i did a deal with him i bought a four and a half from him and then when i was at the meetup he was like yo i'm getting a five and a half i hit on a restock i was like that's crazy and so uh he actually fell asleep right before we were supposed to meet up the first time so I was just waiting there for like 30 minutes and then I left and then he messaged me. He was like, dude, I don't know how that happened. And I was like, all right. Uh, so I ended up doing the deal cause I just ended up going to Home Depot and that was like super close by. And then he came, we talked and then he was like, yo, I'm so sorry. I'll sell you the five and a half for 325. It was just like some random number he threw up in his head. And I was like, uh, okay. And then we checked stock X and it was actually going for like 360. So he was like, you know, I'm just going to honor my word and it's my fault that I fell asleep. So it's kind of like, you know, saying sorry. And I was like, Hey, that's awesome. Uh, and he actually showed up, which is cool. You don't meet a lot of people who are going to be, you know, men of the word, but he was. And so he honored that price. So that's cool. And, uh, I just unboxed this size. Yeah. The box is right here. I just unboxed this size 10 another pair of Jordan 1 mochas right there 
Guys, there's so many. I'm so blessed, honestly, like mocha, 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 mocha. <laughs> there's so many mochas. All right. So um, honestly, I'm super blessed to be able to even just buy this many pairs. I know that there's other people like Sneaker Invest and all that stuff who can buy up like a bunch of pairs. But for me, this is really good um, because I have that plus my normal inventory and other stuff I'm holding. I'm running out of inventory. I've been selling actually a lot of my stuff. And so that's really good to have, but it's kind of harder to find inventory right now. I think people aren't really focusing on shoes because the election and people being afraid of COVID hitting again. So I am trying to make sure I can um, find some inventory. So hopefully th throughout this week, I'll be buying up some pairs from OfferUp, maybe from some of you guys on Instagram. So we'll just go ahead and jump to whatever's next. Now it's Tuesday morning and it's a little bit slower today just because it's, uh, you know, Mondays we had a lot of packages going out. We had about like 10. Uh, so the only thing that's sold overnight is actually a pair of these Nike Dunk Low Beijings that I got. Uh, the only problem with these was some heel drag that you guys can see right there. Um, but it's kind of weird. It's heel drag there, but when you see it from the back, it doesn't look that bad. So, um, but sold these for 185 on eBay. I bought them for a hundred bucks from eBay. So I'm making a good profit on that. It's a little bit later in the day. I just got back from work and someone purchased these Jordan one low, uh, the Royal toe. These are a size nine dead stock. So I gave him a little bit of a deal. I did buy these from the homie Brandon, so shout out to you, Brandon. Uh, he gave these to me for pretty under market. He just wanted to get them out, get his money back. So I was like, I'll take them. So I sold them for 230 shipped. And then, yeah. So other than that, I think it's gonna be a pretty chill Tuesday. Hold on, let me uh, grab these out. Oh, yeah, I'm Yeah, and uh, I got the receiver. Okay, for sure. Yeah, bro, I've been trying to find these, bro. It's hard, dude. Yeah. Honestly, I've I've honestly been hit up like twenty times for them, yeah. but everyone's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, we're like they try to lowball you too, huh? Yeah, like I have people who are like, I'll give you hundred bucks. For them. Yeah, I feel it. Bro. <laughs> yeah, cause like I've wanted the lows, but. I can't get a good deal and they went up like yeah they went too. up like they're like what 500 bucks now yeah and like in my size they're going for like 600. Jeez. yeah this is like because you'll see less people with the high tops too so. yeah, yeah, yeah i like them too because they're the 2009 ones too right. that's cool man you got lucky with, uh, uh and then you said uh 70 70 on top Appreciate it, man. Cool, man. Take care. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. Hey, what's going on? Hello, how you doing? Nice. Oh, I like the vintage Brazils. They're uh, they're still hanging in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, you heard those from like O three. O three. Nice, yeah. dude. I have a bunch of old school Dunks, pre SBs. Yeah, yeah. Those are oh. my favorite. Yeah. So <laughs> I saw these. I like the colorway on these. I'm like, okay, these I can, uh, I can, I can mess with these. Yeah, and they're a little bit newer, so they're all. I mean, they look pretty. Yeah. But okay, I have I have the original Kentuckys and the original um, UNLVs and Syracuse. Dang, from like the '85. Well, no, 2003. Oh, okay. Picture yeah, yeah, to yeah. your school edition, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not the '85. The Hermans. Oh, okay. Uh, I got the Papa Bear Dunks, but that's kind of where I stopped. That's that's where I, I was like, oh, okay, this is, <laughs> it became too uh, too cliche for everyone, so I kind of got out. But now I'm getting back into it. What's up? So what you guys just saw was two transactions. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the first one because that was a trade. So I traded some Syracuse Dunks that I actually cleaned up from eBay. I bought them, I think, for like maybe 200 bucks, and I was selling them for 330 So the guy hit me up. He said, hey, I have some Obsidian Ones, which is what you guys see right here. And they are worn like one time. So I don't know if you guys can see, but they're worn one time. I was legit checking them, making sure, because they do have a lot of fakes of these out, but they looked good and they seem good. They also have the receipt from Shoe Palace. So I added 70 bucks on top. So essentially I'm in the shoe about $270 and they're going for about, 
like almost 500 for a size 12, like 480-ish. And so he was asking for 30. Uh, he wanted 100 on top. I told him I'll just do 70 at most because I, if I'm doing trades, I need to make profit off the trades. So yeah, this is definitely a good shoe worn once. So it should sell pretty well because it's right under that stock X price. And then the second shoe I sold today was the Nike SB Dunk Highs from the Rivalry Pack, which is pretty much this uh, UNC colorway with patent leather. They're super clean, super nice. I sold them for $280 and I bought them off of eBay for $145. I did have to clean them up, but $145 to $280, that's pretty much 100% profit. So we got that going. And I think we do have a couple more deals and stuff coming. So we'll go ahead and just wait for that. Yeah, so we just sold a pair of the Jordan 12 gym reds. I got those in a mystery box. So if you guys haven't watched it, make sure to watch it. Link is up here. It was like a $2,275 mystery box from Soul Supremacy. So that was really fun to unbox, uh, but I did just sell those for 180. And there was a shock drop that just happened. Uh, I unfortunately took L's, but I was able to um, kind of give information to a couple of my friends and they were able to hit. So it's pretty cool that's at least somebody hit. Let me know, did you guys take a W or did you take the fat L? I mean, I feel like I always take L's on sneakers. Yeah, and then the only other thing that's coming out tonight is the PlayStation 5, which I am a PlayStation fan, not really Xbox. It's okay. There's love on both sides. I just do believe that you should have a rechargeable controller. No shade. I don't know. All right, what's up, everybody? So today is Thursday, and I do have a couple packages. They came in pretty early, so I'm stoked. So we'll go ahead and just open up this first one. So this first one, it's a size seven youth. Um, someone peeled this to see if like that, like sensor stickers there, it's kind of like a way to authenticate it, but like not really sometimes, I don't know. Anyways, um, oh, he left a, a note. Thank you again for purchasing the kit. Hope we can do more deals in the future. Good luck with your success in this and keep up the good work on the videos. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, shout out to you. I know that we talk a little bit more on Instagram, but thank you again for the deal. Uh, he sent me a pair of mochas in a size 7Y. And he gave me a good deal. I think it was like 300 bucks on this shipped. So I know more mochas, right? What am I doing with my life? Um, but this is what we got. We got some, I don't know if you can see it here, but we got a big package. So, whew. and here we go, dude, look how huge this is, bro, like, for real, we got the PS5, and this is really heavy, uh, this is the disc version, so, um, you pay like 430 for them, right now they're selling, they just released today, they're selling for like, 900 800 ish range for the for the digital version all right and then we got one more package right here all right and then in this one we got another ps5 this one is as you can see right here uh on the bottom of the box it is the disc version so this is the disc version this one came from amazon and then they fit two of these in there. So I have another digital version of a PS5. So that's three that just came in today. We actually have more on the way. So this, the life of a sneaker reseller sometimes isn't always sneakers. I know some people hate on people who resell this kind of stuff. Uh, I get it. Um, but also, like, if people are willing to pay it, like, 
that's the whole point of sneaker reselling, right? Like if people are willing to pay for a shoe that is overpriced for what it is, like it's the same thing for pretty much anything else in life, like concert tickets and whatever you have it. So we do have a deal right now for these PlayStations. So we'll go ahead and jump to that. This is a cell phone. I'm gonna have my my bed is my bed is on the way. Okay. Better optics. So, like, what do you think about the digital, the digital or the disc one? Which one better? This. I, uh, for me, well, for resale, this. For personal, I'd rather for personal. Yeah, yeah, digital. Right. That's what I was saying. Yeah. I'm gonna just do that instead. For, for personal, for personal, I'd rather just call. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's something. Hello. Did you did you get the money, bro? Let me check. He about to take your phone right now. Guys, so you saw that I did. One deal, uh, shout out to you, Bird Kicks, for helping me out with that deal. He was the one who connected me with the buyer. So I sold two digital and one disc PS5s. And so I sold them all for $27.50. And then I gave Bird Kicks $150 for uh, hooking us up. Essentially making $2,600 off of a... I probably paid a little under $1,500 for it all. So I'm making over like $1,100 in this one transaction. We do have a couple more packages coming. So not coming, but they're already here. So this one's another uh, PS5. And then we're going to unbox these two right now. A pair of mochas that are coming in, size 10 and a half. I got these in a trade. So I traded my Sean's. These kind of Sean Witherspoons. I, I traded those for these and cash on top. And then the only other thing that came in the mail, I don't think I have anything else coming in the mail, but I did cop these shoes from Sneakers. It's a pair of the Air Max. I don't, it's interesting. They're calling them like the Air Max 3s, but to me, it's like this is an Air Max 90. That's an infrared colorway. It's a little smushed because of the way they packaged it, but I actually just bought these for a friend. So he wanted a pair and thankfully, or not thankfully, but luckily I got one in his size and he slept through the release like a bum. <laughs> it does come with arch support, these little pillows that you put inside the insole and it kind of supports your foot a little bit more. And it came with like some weird Nike running 1990 spring collection. This is pretty cool. Just some interesting merch. That's it for today's unboxing. We do also have uh, one pair of shoes that are going out. Uh, this pair of Dunks right here. So this is a pair of the Nike SB Dunk Civilist. I sold them for a hundred bucks because it's scuffed right there. Some guy, the guy I bought it from said he skated in them, but I, I bought it for 40 bucks. I sold them on eBay for a hundred bucks. So I'm making about double my money. So it's another $40 profit right there. All right, I also have one more package to unbox. I forgot about this one. Uh, I think this is from eBay. Right here, we do have a pair of Nike SB Dunks. They are, I think the pro version, uh, the Ishad Wear. It's just a simple white and black colorway. Yeah, I bought these for a hundred bucks. I think brand new pairs are going for, don't quote me on this, I think like about 300. So I figured I can get one that is like in really good condition. Uh, no box though. So I'm hoping I can sell these for about 150 to 200 bucks. All right guys, so it's seven in the morning. We just entered in these raffles right here. Yeah, let's see if I hit anything. All right guys, so we're going to my friend's place and we're gonna go ahead and check out a sneaker collection. Uh, I heard it's small, but I heard it's pretty fire. So we'll go ahead and show you guys that. All right, fellas. So we're gonna go ahead and check out my friend's collection. Um, he's kind of like new to the sneaker game. I guess you could just say he's just, just new to life, you know, but uh, they're telling me that you know they got the kicks as gifts and stuff so we also got to make sure that these kicks are legit so i definitely brought my black light to try and help them out because you know you got to educate people 
to make sure that they're not getting fake kicks. Like you don't want to be caught out here wearing fakes. So I thought it'd help them out a little bit. So yeah, we'll go ahead and see what this collection is all about. What's up? I'm Jason. Let's check out Sneaker Collection. Come on in. Right over here, we do have a pair of the Jordan 1 satin snake skins, right? Yeah. That's what it's called. So, really quick, we just need to, you know, legit check these. Like, all right, smell looks pretty good. Um, blue, blue might be a little off. Blue's just, yeah, there's some excess glue, but that's that's normal. Um, you know, the weird thing though is that these are called satin, but I don't see any satin on here. Yeah, it's So, that's kind of a red flag. Also, there's no laces. Yeah, Velcro, what so, gives, man? Oh, and there's like a little widow's peak. I don't know if you see that. That's like just not malfunction. But just to double check, I, I brought a black light. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but see all these lines just coming up? That's that's how you know they're foo foo. That's how you know they're foo -foo. <laughs> All right, Jason. So walk us through a few of these shoes. Maybe, maybe tell us which one's your favorite. It's hard uh, to choose. I know they're all your favorite. It's hard to choose. I think my favorite's colorway. It's UNC powder blue. If it's highs, lows, I don't know. I feel like these are like a grail for me. Is it Kai's? Oh, I can't pick. I don't know. I can't pick. Yeah, I, I def. I think if I rated them, I would definitely go UNC's. Their costumes, spoons. You gotta go spoons. Spoons. Um, it's the Kai's. You can dress them up, dress them down. Just got the Spartans for my wife. She got it for my birthday. Wore them once and they're so comfy. My first pair of dunks. Um, just picked these to the nears up. And love those because I've always loved Donatello from Teenage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> um, and the one sneaker you regret the most? I regret the most? Okay. These are DS. I haven't worn them. I regret not selling them right away because nothing wrong with them. I love them, but the prices just fell, and uh, now I'm just kind of stuck with them. So yeah, I know. We'll see. Welcome to the sneaker life. <laughs> <laughs> These are special to me because um, it's got my son's name on the back. Got them Nike by You sale colorway on Nike by You is crazy. Got the uh, gum bottoms. Turquoise liner. I want to add like mini swooshes on the sides, but don't know how to use stencils yet. So maybe you can help me with that. <laughs> but these are special because I only wore them when after my son was born. Put them on, held them, and uh, yeah. Everyone needs some ones in their life. These are my first like retro high top ones. And yeah, I was gonna say these were like your first like probably high pair of sneakers. Yeah, and I just love them. I think and just like anything suede. I feel like suede is like my favorite material. Yeah, I need to get some sale laces instead of like that. Uh, that's, that's nice. Oh, uh, dang it, you should have asked me. I had some. You have some? Dang yeah. it. And they're like too big for my shoes because they're oh, a little okay. too long. Oh, and man. You wear like a size 13. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been perfect. Next time. Yeah. But yeah, Ooh. that's my collection. All right, thanks for showing us your heat, <laughs> the small but but mighty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, don't forget, you still oh, yeah, got Travis. The, the Travis Lowe's. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs> Size 11 and a half. Dang. 
I don't know if you guys have seen these yet. But look at these. Jordan 1 patent leather. Sheesh. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too, man. Of course. Been good? Yeah, everything's been chilling. Nice. I couldn't fit. I didn't have a second box, so I hope that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> Buying a mystery box. It's so dark. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, again, a little nice little mystery box <laughs> from... Uh, Yo, yo. How do you pronounce it? Mizzy Clothing? Yeah, Mizzy Clothing Co. Cool. Well, we got these coming, and so check out the unboxing for it. Hey, what's going on, man? Good, good. Yeah. Six and a half? Seven? All the little, all the little kid <laughs> sizes? Yeah, yeah, and then... And then the receipts are actually inside of each box. Okay, do you mind if I keep them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, take them. I try to, like, I, I think there was only two pay with card. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one was cash, so that one has nothing on it. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fine if you cross out that info. I just try to cross out the. I, I don't mean, know this, what you could do with Yeah, them, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I just need this. This one, um, finish line had that, like, um, you pay 250 credits and you can get into this, oh like, that ex exclusive yeah drop. So i remember that, that okay for sure let me just uh check these out a little bit but yeah got some more mochas nice. I like <laughs> no yeah i love the my mochas. wife actually almost was like she's like wait i was trying to get some time to actually oh. try to convince you okay, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I have so many people hitting me up for these, and well, as but, soon as I posted them, it's been kind of nonstop. Yeah. I'm hoping you need me soon. But... All right, straight from Chase. <laughs> so twelve hundred. Mm -hmm. I'll count it after. Yep. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Nice. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, man. It's just people love like the YouTube content for it. So, but yeah, what's going on? I fucked up. I just again. I got in a fight. No worries. I didn't want to. I was rubbing too hard because you know how it is, and you don't know how to clean it. Me. Oh, for sure. Yeah, but I mean, I just did a little quick pass over. I don't want to touch the laces. How did you do that? For sure. But they look pretty good shape, man. Yeah, they're not too bad. If you look at the bottom, you know, I barely wore them. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty good still. For I never sure. take my shoes outside my Jordans. I'm very, like, if I go outside, I make my like, girlfriend care. <laughs> I'd rather really be in my socks, man. Yeah. Yeah, they're not bad. It's always hard with pictures, you know? Yeah, no, it is, it is. They look uh, better in person, I think. Yeah, these definitely do look a little bit better in person. But, yeah, I think they're, they're straight. I know you can make some money off those. and. Yeah, they're not bad. They're a size 11, right? Mm-hmm. 11. Cool. I wish you still had the box for you, man. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all good. Yeah, usually it's better with the box. Yeah, I know. I don't know why my mom threw it away. Right. Damn, my hand hurts, too. I wonder if I fractured it, bro. I hope not. It's been like two weeks. For sure, man. Chris, 100 cool. for you. Thank you, brother. Cool, man. All right, man. Thank you. Yep, no Appreciate it. Yep. A couple things that just happened. So we did pick up these Jordan for uh, the What Does. They are kind of yellowed, but for 100 bucks, it wasn't bad. Pretty good deal. On these, uh, they'll clean up pretty nicely. And then I also did cop three pairs of mochas plus one pair of royal toes for $1,200, which is about $300 each. So that's pretty much StockX price for the royal toes, which I don't mind paying because I know that they're going to keep going up. And then the mochas, I've been wanting some more and they were going for about $330, so I got them for $300 each. So to me, that's a pretty good deal because it's such a hot shoe right now. Cancel. So hot right now. We also picked up Three more PlayStations over there. We picked up this little chair thing right here. We can like check out the shoes. You got, I just got my flip flops on, but uh, you can check out your shoes right there. Um, but the last thing I wanted to talk about is the mochas. I mean, I think you guys saw in my last video that I did pick up like three of these uh, like from Finish Line and JD Sports. And so I don't run a bot. I don't, I got lucky on sneakers. That was the only thing I have, I actually won on. Uh, but I did get three more pairs at retail prices, sort of. Uh, but I just want to quickly shout out Sleeping ATC. Uh, Clement, you are the man. So he was running slots for me. He has bots. He was opening up some slots. 
and he got me three pairs for retail and he only asked for, I think it was like 30 bucks on top. So I'm paying like $210 for mochas, which is an insane steal because they're, they were going for like 330, 350. I mean, now they're going for like 370, 380, they're already going up. So shout out to him. If you guys wanna see his service, I'll link it down in the description box down below. This is also his Instagram right here. So make sure to show him some love. Um, super solid guy. So if you guys are interested in running slots, then you can go ahead and contact him. I would say that he's a little bit cheaper than the general population of people who run bots and slots and stuff like that. So, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe because we're already on, this is episode, what, four? Um, I don't know, it's just crazy. So if you've watched the previous ones and you keep watching them, might as well just subscribe, man. So uh, I appreciate you guys for subscribing and showing love, especially for the last video. It was awesome. Other than that, uh, we'll just see you guys on the next vlog. Peace.